Hello everybody. I got a couple packages in the mail today, so I figured I'd uh, share what I got with everybody. I'm going to start out with these uh, Walkie Dead trade paperbacks. I got uh, three of them. I want them for a penny a piece, and the shipping on them was like six ninety nine. So for seven dollars and two cents, I got these three Walkie Dead trade paperbacks. I got the first one, volume one. I believe this has uh, the Walking Dead one through six in it. I've been wanting to get these for a while, but I didn't want to pay the uh, fifteen dollar piece price tag for them. I found them. Um, I think my local comic shop was having a sale, and they were like ten dollars a piece then. And I was thinking about getting Volume 1 and 2 at that particular time, but then I opted to wait because I thought maybe I can get them a little bit cheaper on eBay. And then I waited for a while, and these ones came along. So here's Volume 2, which I believe is issues 7 through 12, 7 through 13, something like that. And I think they each, each one of them has six issues in it. And then I didn't get number three, unfortunately. They didn't have number three, but I did get number four. So there's going to be a little gap in between there. I'd like to get, like, uh, volumes one through ten. So I'd like to get number three and then five through ten. I got these, um, Something is Killing the Children issues. I believe these were two dollars a piece. They're just the I believe they're just the regular covers. Um, this is number sixteen. Um, I think this is the origin of Erica Slaughter and the first appearance of Jessica Slaughter. It's issue number sixteen. Seventeen. I got issue number one. So there's going to be a big gap between um, issue 1 and 16. So I'll have to find 2 through 15. And then I, th I think I'll get um, up to issue number 20. And see how it goes from there. I did like issue number 1 a lot. There's number 17. And number 18. Pretty cool cover on the eight, number 18. I like all the all those covers actually. Um, they give you kind of like an old old art style vibe or old horror movie vibe. I got these Civil War issues. Um, I have read these Civil War issues before. And I really enjoyed them. So I figured I'd pick them up again since uh, they were in my old collection that I don't have anymore. So here's issue number one. Here's issue number two. And issue number three. First three issues, I'll have to get the rest later. I think they go up to six or seven. So I have to get the other three or four at a later time. X Force number five. I'm wanting to get X Force number one through twenty-five. I've only got a couple of them. I got issue one and two, and now five, and I think maybe a couple other ones. I know I got a couple later ones, but um, one through twenty-five. I think I just got one, two, and uh, now five. Same with these Ghost Rider issues. I'd like to get Ghost Rider 1 through 50. Um, I got issue 1, and I got issue 2, and I think maybe issue 3. So here's issue number 8. I really, really loved Ghost Rider um, back in the 1990s when I was a kid buying these off the newsstands. I really loved Ghost Rider. 
I didn't even know about the older Ghost Rider back then. I just knew this Ghost Rider, and I absolutely just loved it. Here's number nine. This one's got X Factor in it. And the Morlocks. A couple more Spider Man comics. Here's a Spectacular Spider Man number 69 with an early appearance of Cloak and Dagger. I got all these, all these from Max Sports down here. I got these for a dollar a piece, plus shipping. I think shipping was five dollars. And Spectacular Spider-Man number seventy. Yep, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I got some more stuff coming. Um, it'll probably be either the end of the week or I'm I'm thinking more or less probably the uh, beginning to the middle of next week. I got quite a bit of stuff coming, uh, so uh, I'll share those videos then when that stuff comes in. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck hunting for those collectibles. Until next time, guys. Take care.